Hi again. The hard right Tory Brexiters are circling Theresa May. Boris Johnson, Jacob rees mogg and Michael Gove, who always looks like he's been shafted by the rough, rough end of a pineapple. This trio have already been dubbed the Dream Team. Professing loyalty, they cast dice for the top jobs. It is admittedly gratifying to watch the Tories ripping themselves asunder with their Brexit civil war. Today, it's rouse about a custom union. Tomorrow, it's single market, customs arrangements, partnership, hard Brexit, soft Brexit, or maybe, spare us please, another referendum. Confusion, petty fogging, having no tactics or strategy is what it basically boils down to. In reality, it's all about power and who's going to be running the government this time next year. One clue, it ain't going to be Corbyn and Labour. The Theresa May death scene could extend for many drawn out months, maybe into next year. But the Dream Team are already calculating the division of spoils. One of the creepy cabal, Rhys Mogg, was Friday last involved in a minor altercation during some boring meeting he was addressing in Bristol University. What has been conflated into a virtual black block, half a dozen masked hecklers, had Rhys Mogg flapping around like Corporal Jones, screeching ineffectively, keep calm. This has propelled Rhys Mogg into a Daily Mail superhero, facing off the plebeian hordes. Because, frankly, there's sweet F.A. happening on the streets, apart from the homeless freezing to death, no direct action and there's no mass confrontational protest, an incident like Bristol is blown entirely out of proportion, as if it was a threat to the social and political stability of the nation. If only. But there has been... A near hysterical reaction in the corridors of power, Theresa May hinting at a draconian Putin-like law against online abuse and robust protests against the political pimps otherwise known as members of parliament. But if or when the dream team assumes power due to an internal party coup, we'll need a hell of a lot more than a few shouts of disapproval. Are we up for it? Or will everyone just roll over and passively accept it, as they have done with everything else? We'll know that soon enough. Bye.